What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a closer look at Ares, our new synth, which is incredible. It's built on the Structure Cubic Audio Engine and it allowed us to really do some cool and unique things in terms of sound development for this particular product. Let's get right to it. I have, as you can see, uh, multiple instances of Ares pulled up and I also brought in some MIDI just to kind of experiment and show you some of the other things that we can do. Uh, so this first particular pat patch is called Cloud Pad. Now when I pulled it up originally, the attack was up here. So if you played it, it kind of built in. And I wanted to have the attack come right in so that I can kind of build a melody because I like the way that uh, that particular pad sounded. So. I pull the attack down in the ADSR area and you can so you get that immediate sound happening now the cool thing about Aries is that you don't have to be a professional sound designer to get great sounds from it first of all the sounds that are in it sound great and we've made it very simple for you to tweak a sound so if I wanted to just say move my morph knob a little bit adjust it and maybe bring up some reverb nice cool feel a little bit more add in a little phaser so just with a couple of tweaks you can really affect the sound so if I wanted to create a melody So that's that's really nice easy to use fast and efficient yet powerful now if I wanted to edit my reverb I can click this little icon here and it brings up my parameters to change my room type to change the dampening uh, you can see all of the different uh, parameters that you have there that you can change so let's uh, take a look at a couple of other sounds here go down and here I have a arpeggiator now to pull up sounds inside of uh, Aries you just simply click this down arrow right here and here are all your categories you see it's tons of sounds that you can choose from so I have this sound up it's called wandering nice arp So now, as you can see, take a look at the ARP section right here. Uh, we have it set to shuffle. And so if we wanted to change how the ARP works, you just click this button here, just select down. So you can see the ARP changes there. You can go random. So the longer you hold it down, the more it will randomize itself. Uh, let's do this. Let's go up and then let's change the timing. So we have it on 16th notes right now. So what if we went to 8th notes? If I wanted to put a delay in there and a reverb and just go crazy. Very nice. We'll back off some of the reverb because it's putting it way in the tank. And then we'll compress it a little bit.
and there you go it brings it to the front so let's go to a another sound so this is like a ambient trap bass so cool bass there now what we can do if if it has too much high end on it and go over here start messing with the resonance and the filter so you can make it more of a sub nice so you can choose the different filter types here which are, is really cool and right there I just changed the filter and I turned it into a completely different instrument you see how easy it is to take what was an ambient trap bass and simply with the turn of a couple of knobs adjusted into something completely different so really it's endless what you can do because of the power the power of the structure engine and as well as the sounds that we put in it and the way that we designed it and I have some MIDI that I just randomly brought in and we just play some of this So let's go over here to the LFO, turn it on, and let's just let's mess with it. Go. Let's make it nasty. You can really get in and just quickly be creative without going to a thousand different screens. All right, let's uh let's hear another sound. This is a back sound. That's dope. That'd be a great intro, a great uh, transition to a break for bridge. Oh, all right. And it basically doubles your patch count right there. I'm gonna jump back to the stepper in a second. Certain sounds work better on the stepper than others, but I wanna uh, go to the reverse while I'm here. Let's get this thing louder. So that's the original. over here very nice just mess with this morph knob create something completely different that's crazy all right so let's just uh, hear that sound on some MIDI Composition, sound design, crazy stuff happening in the background. It's a really cool effect. So that's a pretty straightforward sound, right? Straightforward synth. So let's try to change it really quickly into something completely different. So let's mess with the filter first.
All right, let's adjust the compressor. Give it a little bit more volume. Let's go through some more here. We have some really cool strings in here. If you don't want to go through all of the uh, categories to get to the next patch, you can just click this arrow here. make sounds for right now you know that's really what we look for we leave all of the vintage stuff to everyone else we really make top 100 top 40 sounds That string is exactly what it says it is. It's a lush string. All right, let's uh, go back to our categories and let's take a look at some of our So, what if we put some reverb on it? Just the filter bit. Go to the envelope. Nice. That's that stepper I was telling you about that we were going to go back to. So you can always adjust the amount. All right, let's go through and listen to some more sounds. Some of these plucks. a lot of genres in this uh, instrument so let's go to another plug actually I can just go to the next one something happen in there. Let's keep going. So it's really like um, velocity sensitive so as you hit it harder different things happen but All right, so that's Aries. So again, 328 sounds, but all sounds have reverse, so that instantly doubles your patch count. We will be adding expansions to it. Uh, it's available right now from mvploops.com. If you don't have it, go and grab it. It's an amazing instrument. It sounds fantastic. It's easy to use. The sounds are right now type sounds and some sounds that are coming that we've heard that maybe you haven't uh, because we have an inside track. 
But uh, go and check it out. And if you have any questions, reach out to us on YouTube or reach out to us uh, via email at our site at mvploops.com.